All right, folks, welcome back to Irish Scottish Fishing and Fly Tying. So today I'm just going to show you how to tie up the white cap booby. Now, the white cap booby will be in most competition anglers' box. And any guys wanting to go to fisheries, it's a great pattern. And there's that many variations of it, but this is just the general pattern. And it works really well for me, anyway. So I'll quickly get into it and show you how to tie it up. So like everything else, I'm using a B175 size 10. Good part, good size of hook for this pattern. And then let's go through the materials. I'm using a Unifred 80 and Fire Orange. And for the body, I'm using Ultra Chenille Medium Airline one. It's good body, makes it a good fit. So just start things off, just start off with air thread. Let's get it down the hook. worry too much about touching turns just down to pass the barb come in and snip your excess then you want to come in with your marabou now i'm using dave downey's marabou in spring water blue great color so got a bit, of, bit already prepped there so i grab uh when i'm grabbing this marabou i grab just about an inch and a half of it for my tail and for my wing I think it gives me a good a good pattern, well a good build up of the wing. So like every, like all my marabous, just work it in your fingers. Get all the excess off. Change hands. Change hands and then I come in and cut once. That's the first cut done and then I get get rid of all these excess fibers. So it just helps you tie it in better. And then I'll let moisten it, which I've done. Let's tidy it up a bit. Now a lot of people bring like to bring their thread up to the top of the hook before they do this, but I like it doing it this way. Whereas I pinch it in and then bring it up. So you see I I've started from the bottom of the hook. I just find it helps me set the the tail better when I'm running it down the hook. That's it folks, and then you just work your thread up the hook. Giving yourself a good body. Don't worry too much about touching turns. Like build the body up. If there's got white and orange coming through it, it's, it's not a problem. But as I say, this is just the way I tie mine up. So that's the tail in anyway, so I'm just gonna come in and snip the tail. Or I'll pull it. Oh, I've moved the camera there. Double check I won't move the camera. Yeah, we're still good. Then you're gonna come in with your chenille. Just the medium chenille. Just wanna catch it in. You can you can if you want catch it in up there to get a bit a bigger body, but I'll just show you that. But I find it gives you a bigger head. But because we're making it a booby, so it won't matter anyway. There we go. And then all we do then is just come up with touch and turns. Like I say, this stuff's good, but it's quite annoying to cut at the end. So I come up to about this position here, and then like everything, two turns over the top. We get to pull a bit tighter with this stuff. Otherwise, you end up getting a bigger head. Leave it at that. And then you want to come in and snip. Then you want to start to build up a head here. This is just in readiness of everything. So you're going to lay your booby eye on it. And we'll just start working up a head. Tidying all that up. There we go. And you want to come in with your booby eyes. 7mm, seven 7mm seven cut into one centimeter and then round it off. You can use scissors or use a Dremel, but I'll just rotate the hook. And then all I do then is roughly catch it into the middle. Oh. 
off. There we go. That's it, caught under the middle. And all I do then is just wind it onto the hook. Wind it onto the hook then. And then you want to do one, two, three, four over that side of the hook. And then over the other side of the hook. One, two, three, four. And then come in and do four turns at the front just to tidy it up. There you go, there's your BBI on. And the next thing in is then you want to come in with your, for your wing. Same again, grab about an inch and a half of Marabout. Now a lot of people tie their eyes in to start with. But I like doing, I like tying them in halfway through and then using the eyes to catch in my wing. And plus it, when you're working with the chenille, it just helps you get a better head because I, I don't like bringing the chenille up up to the eyes but it's all personal preference whatever way you want to do it this is just the way i find it easier to do it so same again i'm just working the working my marabou through my fingers come in and do one cut and all you're doing is just taking all that all that fluff away and come in and do your second cut Moisten. And all you want to do then is get rid of all that. Bring the thread up to this position and then place the marabou on in between the eyes. And then when you lock down onto it, pull. And then making sure you're not coming up. Every time you do do a turnover, just lock it in. As I say, don't worry about them loose like this fibers there. I like that on this pattern. There we go, that's four turns. That's, that's that wing locked in now. Then you want to pull the eyes back and then put in three to four turns at the front. And because the hair's quite short, I just like to position it like this when I lock it off. So the thread doesn't undo. And come in with your vineyard spine head cement. A good generous portion on the thread. Then I come in with a whip finish tool. Get it all set up. Pull back on the eyes. One, two, three, four. Then you want to come in and snip. Pluck your wing so it's the same size as your tail. There you go. Then come in with a little bit of super glue. Just a bit of super glue to secure the eyes. Now a lot of people don't they don't some people don't like it with super glue, but I just think I like it with the super glue on. Pull down in the eyes. Good general, good generous portion in between the eyes, just holding it, and then I just turn the hook over and a little dab on the bottom, not too much. A bit too much glue on there i'm just going to pull back on the eye and just clear the eye there we go and that's the fly finish folks simple as that cat booby white cat booby very effective i tie it in a size 12 standard lure and a size 10 standard lure my orange thread i it works really well on me with the orange head also tie it I've also tie uh, also tie it in a size ten, five mil eyes, 
so you can jump about. Obviously, this will float higher than float higher than the five mil eyes. Works well as well, and I also tie it without the wing, which works too as well. Can't really call it a cat, but you can still call it a cat booby. Still works. So, thanks very much, folks. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this. This is a, one of the best patterns you'll ever have in your box. Everyone fishes them. Uh, if you like this fly, uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, more videos will follow. Uh, over the next uh, few videos, I'm going to show you the uh, booby patterns that I have in my box. I've got a cat booby with a UV straggle, a black cat, woofter, cat booby, all different variations. I'll show you what I've put in my box. So, uh, thanks very much, folks, and uh, I'll see you in the next fly. See you later.